bruh forgot the last digit of his number. So if somebody forgets the last digit of the number inside your form, this type of email you got to send them right up in here. Studio shoot today. Hey, Alan, I tried shooting a text with the number you put in the form. was a complete last digit. What's the type of concept you're going for today? Just regular photos. Shoot me a text whenever you get a moment. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I completely forgot to shoot that boy a text. I ain't even gonna lie, man. Or an uh, email. But it's all good. It'd be like that, man. It'd be like that. Uh, what's good with y'all boys? Whoa. Man, y'all always barking, bro. Always. Man, don't get y'all a German Shepherd, man. I'm just playing. Get a German Shepherd. It's gonna be the best thing you ever do in your life. But nah, like, they're, they're so protective. German Shepherds are so freaking protective, bro. Like, that's my son. You feel me? Ten cars are passed by. If he see that little USPS symbol on it, hey, go right here. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> if he see that little USPS symbol, bro, or the UPS symbol, or any other, like, mailman symbol, FedEx, all that, it's like he automatically knows. I don't know. I guess mailmen have different vibrations on their cars, and it just, they, they, they dogs can just tell. I swear, 10 cars will pass by, no nothing, no noise, no nothing. He'll just look right at him, probably not even stun him, go back to, to freaking doing whatever dogs do. The moment the mailman pull up, he hear a vibration down the road that sound like a mailman car. This man, it is crazy. But yeah, man, what's good with y'all boys, man? I got a little quick vlog going on with y'all today. Um, I still got the Houston vlog, the editing, whatnot. We, I, I didn't really like vlog the whole, whole entire thing, so I'ma just like probably piece that together and then put like a little message behind it on the experience and all this and that because i ain't gonna lie to y'all boys man that was an experience we're just basically gonna be doing this one uh studio shoot i did a little uh 199 special for studio shoots they could book anytime throughout the year and i just want to come out here and talk to y'all about like like sales and, and stuff like that you know on if it's a good thing or if it's a bad thing you know should you do it should you not do it you know stuff like that or at least my philosophy on that type of stuff you know um, so I, I ran a little special, $199, you get three retouched images, um, 45 minutes worth of shooting, and yeah, that's like the whole spiel. You get all the photos, of course, like all the raw photos, not necessarily the raw photos. When I say raw photos, I don't mean raw photos. This is my mom. Hold on, let me answer this, y'all boy. Right, Nick. Brandon just came by and did that, man. You know how to open it. It's a certain way you got to open the gate. Uh, I told him I don't know how to open it. I ain't been out there to touch on it yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, mom, I'm making a video, so I'll talk to you later. All right, bye, Nick. Bye, bye. Chukaboo. Bye, Take a video. I'm just named Neptune, mom. That's me, Madre, man. So, rent a little sale, $199, three retouched images. They get all the raw photos, which are the JPEGs. I never give them the actual raw photos unless they want to purchase the uh, the rights to those. 45 minutes worth of shooting, yeah. That's that, bro. That's, that's literally that. Um, Nothing crazy, nothing too fancy. It's just something to kick the New Year's off, you feel me? It's, it's, it's like... A piece of gratitude to people because you know a lot of people they want to do like birthday shoots and and all this and that like for more of the people that don't want to do anything too extravagant but they still want to do something in the studio where they have like an engagement where they have like a studio where they have like a birthday where they have like a, a maternity you know what i'm saying something real quick there where they don't need a lot of photos they just need like one or two good shots and and yeah that was for those people and that's a very, very great deal for all the services I'm providing, my quality, and all this and that. And so I want to talk to you guys about sales real quick, man. Sales are good. Sales can be helpful and sales can be hurtful. The way sales can be helpful, one, attract more people to your business. They're going to, two, put more money in your pocket, hopefully, if you advertise it right. And three, give you more work for your portfolio, you feel me? And I'm pretty sure the list is endless, but it could also hurt you as well. Like, if you run too many sales, people are only going to book you when they know you have a sale going on. Because they're going to know, oh, this guy runs a sale every every freaking month. I can just wait till next month and then I get my shoot $50 off, you know what I'm saying? Something like that, you feel me? Two, you're going to be selling yourself short too many times out of the year, you feel me? Like, me, a good rule of thumb, I try to do only, like, two sales a year, man. Two sales out of the year is perfect for me. That's the number that I'm sticking with. You feel me? I'm not. I don't try to go over two. If I have to go over two, then the getting's gonna be good, and 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 it's a strategic thing. You know what I'm saying? And the third thing, it could also be hurtful to yourself because you're doing a lot more work for less money. You feel me? So basically, say for instance, if somebody would have wanted to do a birthday shoot with me later on in the year, they wouldn't pay that five hundred, six hundred dollar price point. They just have to pay two hundred dollars. But I made sure to do it in this sale. You only get 45 minutes and you only get three retouched images. People that really want to go all out for their birthday shoots and really want to have a concept, really want to do all this and that, it's going to take way longer than 45 minutes. It may, it may not, who knows. But like I said, man, the reason why I did the sale, bro, just because it's New Year's, man, I wanted to create a little bit more buzz around stress life visuals. I wanted to give back a little bit more, you know, stuff like that, you know. 
no alternative motive, no ulterior motive. Of course, the money's cool, but at the end of the day, you know, it's like uh, it's only two hundred dollars. To me, I'm saying it's only two hundred dollars, and I'm being as humble as I can when I say this, bro. Um, when you're in this industry or when you get established and all this and that, bro, you're gonna be making literally two to five hundred dollars every day in an hour. You know what I'm saying? Just for an hour of your time doing this, it, it's gonna come that easy. That's why I'm able to be like, yeah, it's only two hundred dollars. It's only this. It's only that. I don't mean it in a way of like, yeah, nah, this nigga, I'm I'm the richest nigga in the world. That ain't shit. It's like a dollar to me. No, two hundred dollars is still two hundred dollars. Don't get me wrong. I'm not finna just throw away two hundred dollars for no reason. It's been blessed to be able to have the power to you know generate that plus more with just an hour of my time now. So that's why I say it in that way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, no disrespect at all. Like I said, man, $200 is $200, bro, because I ain't come from much at all. I came from something that my mom and my dad built. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're continuously building. You know what I'm saying? Like my mom, like I just got out of the phone with my mom. Y'all heard it. She literally just got a new fence for her house. They built their house from the ground up. We were in the trailer before we were in that house. They built that house from the ground up when they had enough money. Um, continuously working, still working to this day. Just recently added a garage to the house a couple years ago. And now they're just now adding a fence to the house and all this now. My parents, yo, they're in their 60s, man. I think my dad's like 70. But yeah, my, they're, in the, they're up there in age, you know what I'm saying? They're finally like completing the things that they, they set out to complete. You know what I'm saying? I'm only 20, well, I'm 26. I'm only 26 and I already got a house with the fence and all this and that, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, right? It's super crazy to see you know, our parents and all that back in the day is how much they had to work for things now compared to how quick we can get these things, man. Like, my mom, to, to, to hear that I got this house at 25, 20, yeah, I got the house at 25. My mom, to hear that I got the house at 25, bro, you, that shit was crazy. <laughs> that shit blew her mind. She was like, what? You, know, you got a house? That is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. Other than that, yeah, man, the time is 2 o'clock. Um, I'm gonna be picking up KD as well. I don't know if we're gonna do something else after just to do something. May go to the gun range after that. I know KD been wanting to go to the gun range, so I mean, we might vlog that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Show y'all how a real shooter get down, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got the tattoo him off or nothing. Hold on, let me, hold on real quick. Hold on real quick, let me, let me. Yeah, boy, I ain't got the, oof. I ain't got the, I ain't got the shooter on my arm for no reason now. Nah. It ain't just camera work, ain't that right now too? It ain't just cause of camera work, baby. Ain't that right now too? Talk to him. Talk to him. Ain't that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dap me up, cuz. Dap me up. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Our house kind of dirty. I ain't gonna lie. I can't show y'all too much, so I'm gonna keep it closed in like this. You feel me? Yeah, hold on, Neptune. Got something to say for the folk? Got something to say for the folk, buddy? You got nothing to say? You gonna give me five? Ah, good boy, good boy. Put y'all boys on game on the fit of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the earth flannel with the regular black, nice little chain, you know what I'm saying? Regular Nike tech pants with the with the new balances, you know. I ain't even gonna count to y'all boys, man. I don't wear this flannel and new balance combo for the past three days in a row. I ain't gonna lie. Hey man, he my clothes, you feel me? It ain't like I'm rolling in dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I really just be using the flannel as like a coat, cause it's be it be kinda cold nowadays. And the new balances are just too clean, you feel me? Hold it down. Hold it down now, hold it down. Counting on you. Keep the house safe. Woo! Alright, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. I wanted to talk to y'all about was, bro, where, where do these YouTubers, these vloggers begin their music from, bro? Hold on real quick, let me put the seatbelt on before this thing start yelling at me. Ah, what I told you, what I told you, I was getting it, I was getting it, I'm sorry, I was getting it. But yeah, man, if y'all know the sauce to where, like, these YouTubers, these uh, vloggers, like, you know, um, Quan and, and pretty much uh, all the popular vloggers right now, because, you know, back in my day when I was watching, like, vloggers and stuff, it was, it was DDG before DDG was, like, you know, an artist and all this other good stuff. Like, where would they get the mu- where, where do y'all get music from now that sounds good? That's not copyrighted, you feel me? Cause like all the good music is copyrighted, bro. I go on SoundCloud, I go to the part where it says for commercial use, all this and that, and it still gets copyrighted. So like I am so confused. Where do you find non-copyrighted music that actually sounds good, bro?
<laughs> the man came back from Colorado looking sophisticated, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, damn, boy. Snow put a little more education on me. You know <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Safe out there on them roads. <laughs> okay, all right. Hair still retwisted, clean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Night yeah. little brother, little Lana. Yeah, yeah, probably yeah, a little okay. brush, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, good. How you doing, man? Man, I can't complain. You know, I'm blessed. Holly Faye, you know what I'm saying? I want to let everybody know Happy New Year's, you know what I'm saying? More success, more life, and it's our year to go up, you know what I'm saying? Alright, man. Nigga, walked into the car. Smelling like a whole thing of Listerine. Shit, yep. crazy. It's <laughs> <laughs> your first time coming outside today? Yep. Damn, but it's 2 o'clock, man. I've been out chilling, bro. Gotta get some sun. Uh, what you doing for the rest of the day? Chilling, shit. Alright, bet. Trying to go to the gun range? Gotta go get some bullets. Yeah, they got bullets and shit. Boy, what is this? Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> I ain't been in here since yesterday. So yeah, man, we in the studio now. Uh, what we finna do? This is a backdrop I just used for Germany shoot. We just did some Nike stuff. I put a couple of them on the screen real quick. I ain't retouch none of them. I just throw some raw ones up there. But this pretty much the setup that we're gonna be using for this uh for this New Year special. For people that really just have like regular, regular, you know what I'm saying? Concepts, not crazy. I'm gonna be using a regular seven foot parabolic. It's pretty much always what I go with in the studio. It's gonna be right here at an angle off to the side. And then I'm gonna have a strip box for the backlight on the opposite side, just like how I do all my outside shoots, all this and that, you know? And I'm gonna be shooting from this way, probably like right up in here, because I want to shoot from the shadow side. I always tell y'all boys, man, shoot from the shadow side. It'll make your images pop way more. And yeah, that's how that's going to go. Like I said, I don't know what color backdrop cut I want to use. It's just a backdrop we had up um, earlier. So we just went on and get here. And yeah, we just vibing into enough. Cuz ain't here. So I'm about to go ahead and send that email that I didn't send earlier that I probably should have sent. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> just in case. Listen, man, y'all don't be like stress, bro. Be better than stress, man. Everything that I do wrong, y'all getting to witness it live here on YouTube, on Instagram, all that. So we can recorrect it, or so you can recorrect it and do it the better way. You know what I'm saying? See that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't realize number putting forms missing digits when I would contact you. I'm in the studio now, the address given during the booking should work, but if it doesn't, just call me. You know what I'm saying? Um, every time someone books, it gives them the address to my studio, right? So, you know, no matter what you book, um, you can book me in Atlanta, you can book me grad shooter, FSU, you can anywhere. It's just gonna give you my address to my studio. So if they pay attention to that, then they should know where to go, even if they, you know, don't, even if I don't contact them and all this and that, you feel me? But usually I, you would want to contact the client, you know? Um, she has my numbers as well, so if she does get lost, she can just go to my page, she can go here, go there. My number's everywhere, my business number that is. So yeah, that's that. So now we wait, I guess. All right, so yeah, y'all boys, man, it is now 3.45, you feel me? 3.45, Shotty did not pull up. Um, I guess this is a valuable lesson, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I could have um, sent that email a little bit earlier, but at the end of the day, all of my stuff on my website, all of my stuff on my Instagram, all the stuff on my email that she gets sent um, when she books for the confirmation, it saves me from all of that because she has all of my information, so she could hit me up whenever if something was happening and all this and that, you know? But this is why you get your deposit, so your time isn't wasted. So um, we stay here for almost an hour, um shoot only two hundred dollars so hundred dollar deposit hundred dollars for 45 minutes of my time so i mean hey i'm <laughs> chilling vibing uh i just said i put out the um the backdrop for the person that has to rent the studio after this hopefully she uh calls me or something like that shoots me an email back because honestly um when stuff like this happens literally like she booked it yesterday for today i don't know if she meant to book it for today maybe she meant to book it for february 5th february 6th whatever the day is i don't know but other than that i was here i was in my spot on time i was waiting on her you know what i'm saying so ain't really much else i could do me personally i'm lenient with my clients bro i'm very very lenient if i can be so if she does want to reschedule or she wants to shoot again I'm not gonna charge the full price for that. It's probably gonna be like half off or something like that, you know, cause I understand things happen. You, um, you messed up, I get it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is, man, you know? Cause it's a sales shoot anyway. So even if I am losing a little bit of money, you know, it, 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 it it's for the people at the end of the day, you feel me? I'm over here acting like I'm making an Instagram post or some shit like that. But nah, man, like, 
you know, business is business at the end of the day, but still, y'all gotta learn how to be people persons, man. People, 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 persons, people, people, however you say that shit. Y'all just learn how to, how to, how to be a human. That's what I, that's all I gotta say. So yeah, um, we done. We about to go ahead and slide out. Uh, damn. Shit, boy, 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 popping, man. You know, metro, like, metro. That's what, that, that, what, what happened? We got that good dope, man. <laughs> but nah, man, we about to go ahead and head to the range. Uh, shoot some stress out and yeah let's do it yeah y'all like this type of stuff happens all the time like i ain't gonna say all the time but there will be times when you know people are well there will be times when people are like super duper laid or people are are no call no shows and all this and that but like i was saying bro that's what a deposit is for this is why you this is why you have a deposit so your time isn't wasted and chances are when they don't get their way they're probably going to try to dispute the charge too but just make sure you have evidence of you being in the area evidence of text messages evidence that you sent them something you know what i'm saying and letting them know that hey this is that this is what's going on so you can actually dispute the charge with them you know what i'm saying and 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 hopefully win a lot of times a lot of these people like square paypal cash app um not really cash app cash app don't do like refunds and shit but square paypal um them are the only ones i use for real when you dispute charges you need to show evidence and usually they side with the buyer ebay as well they usually side with the buyer so um this is why you have to have so much evidence you know you need to document everything like i'm so glad i'm vlogging i have this footage and documenting that i was there documenting that i had time showing my phone all this and that so i'm safe in case she wants to you know what i'm saying try to dispute the charge and all this and that but like i said if she wants to to shoot again she probably chose the wrong day and didn't even know she probably chose the wrong time didn't even know you stuff like that you know i'm gonna ask always i'm gonna shoot an email a little bit later on and let her know you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna go out to the put that in right there <laughs> you feel me, bro? He got his own target, man. <laughs> man he really got his own target. Y'all be ready, dog. Ah, so yeah, we about to hit snowball real quick. We're gonna slide out to the ridge range. That bit clean now, you feel me? We're gonna see what it look like, you know what I'm saying, afterwards, though. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he a live civilian right now. Okay. He's gonna tap back in. <laughs> <laughs> In there, the people. Yeah, I hope my people in there, bitch. You got people in there? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I be chopping it up. Them. Chopping it up with my people. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Katie got people apparently that he be seeing in Snowball. Gotta figure out that boy Jay. Ah, Jay Mo ain't even in here, but someone someone better in here other than Jay Mo though. They go the second co-owner in business, man. Hey. Put that boy Kyle on it, man. How you doing? Yes, sir. What's going on with you? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? It was like I said. I hope Jay Mo was in this bitch, but Jay Mo ain't in this bitch. You know, it'd be like that. Um, His family and stuff. You know, yeah. Ah, uh, he got a family. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, let me get the uh, jumbo. Gotta get the jumbo, you know what I'm saying? Um, signature apple. flavor, green apple, yep. you know what I'm saying? Blue raspberry. Okay. And then put that uh, pink lemonade on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, whatever this guy gonna get, man. So this is a secret, y'all. What's your favorite? Oh, the Kai Special, huh? Kai Special, Look Kai and Kenny and pink lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that shit. <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm hating? I, I'm hating. I'm kind candy and pink lemonade. I ain't gonna, I'm going to get that bitch to prove him wrong. Like, he hating though. I, 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 I thought you said you were going to put them on your flavor. I told him my secret. I ain't say my flavor. 14, man. I don't get no old head discount on them, man. I got AARP. I mean, I Look again. Oh, okay. I work. I work. Let me go ahead and let me go and put that 20% on that for my boy, man. Get that man right. I ain't never left the tip. This is my first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, y'all come on down to, to J-Mo Snowballs, man. Y'all gonna ask for Kai, man. He, he don't work every day, but just ask for him. It's the co-owner, basically. I bet you all the money in my pocket right now that it's not gonna come out black. Go yeah, ahead. It's not, it's that's not gonna, not gonna come, out. come out black. Shit, I ain't gonna lock it. Use all the money. How much money you got in your pocket? Don't worry about it. There's, there's <laughs> no, all the money in my pocket ain't gonna come out black. Because hey, Kai know what he's doing. Check it out, though. Mine, though? Oh, matter of fact, why, why we just don't let them decide which one look better, though? Who's them? The people. The people. Nigga, I, I let myself decide what shit look better. I know what look good and what don't. This, this KDs, right? This KDs, right? It's straight yellow. Right, this, this KDs, right? <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. You know what I mean? It's straight yellow. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna have to get a little B roll of that. You know what I'm saying? Like a little slow mo. Mmm. Mmm. 
red, blue, green. Mm, look at his face. Look at his face. That's how you know that shit look better. <laughs> Where you at, nigga? I'm at what? I'm at, uh, for the, uh, the Bahamas. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm at Midway at my uncle's house. Midway at the man. Pull up, man. Hey. Uh, it's right in Midway, actually. It is. You headed there now? Yeah, we about to slide right now. How long is it going to take you to get there? Probably like 20. Probably gonna take you like 10. It probably won't even take you that low key. There you go, yeah. You know, it's, it's talent, so you just type it in, see how far it is. Down here at the range, you know what I'm saying? Made it out, what's happening? There's a puddle over there. A puddle? Yes, yeah, puddle over there. We gotta hop over this bit. You know, you can't mess up the new board, you know what I'm saying? Smooth. Yeah. Check that boy right there, though. It's in the yard. But this is more of the one that I'm building right now. The regular yard. That's the, I, I, I got a 50, like 50 yard bay. Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah. that's cool. That's fine. Gotta watch the video. Yeah, make sure y'all boys, you know, you come to the range, man. Always look at the safety. Be safe about everything, you feel me? Get right, get right. Y'all don't walk down? Well, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> I was like, you just in time. You gotta do the same thing, too. Oh, yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah. We got the same shit going. <laughs> what you been up to today, Luck? What you been going on, man? Man, you know, out and about for real. I got, I got, I got something else playing later. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You gonna see it. You gonna see it. Oh, I'm gonna see it. And just put it in a tub and fill that tub with gun scribble. Yeah, so you go out that ramp, you're gonna see it time to run. $161.61 cash record. Uh, card. Go ahead and scan the lights up. Probably sell this at a reduced price. That was Taking my sons to the range, man. Come on now. Bring your kids to work day, man. Bring your kids to work day. Yeah, man, you know, hey. I always have some beaters in the trunk, man, because it's too muddy out here. You know, I can't mess up them boys, you feel me? See, me and Luck came out in the, you feel me? <coughs> All black, you know what I'm saying? But you look like you in the army, boy. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. They probably just put those shits on. Man. Coming out of GQ and shit. Yeah. <laughs> in the rain. I wouldn't even plan on coming to the rain. Hey, okay. Okay, we just need to do some shit, because the girl, she was a no call, no show for the studio today. So I'm like, fuck it. One minute, man. Look at all this brass, man. These boys be shooting out here. Hey, wow. You know how much money you can make off this? I ain't never really even been on these long ass ranges before. These at the short ones, like right next door. I'm gonna do that for sure, but shit. I ain't never shot this one before, I ain't gonna lie. You ain't shot it yet? Not this one. Alright, that's why I'm gonna rent this one. I ain't never shot this one. So I gotta tell him, boy, man. That boy, Luck, he don't be shooting for real, man. We gotta put him on. That man came to the crib New Year's and I ain't never shot a gun. You for real? Yeah. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga unloaded that clip though. In my backyard. Can't shoot these. Too expensive, man. I know too. Yeah, you gotta get them practice rounds, man. Target rounds. Come on down. That boy look combat ready, boy. They need a feel for the weight. Get in there, man. Call of Duty in real life, boy. I gotta put you on the vlog. You on the, you on the drop, vlog now. Drop top, yeah. drop top, smoking up, cooking up, dope in the crock pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. I don't try no one to quit the trick on my Call up the gang and they come and get janked. Grab me a river, get the touch. Yeah, yeah. Let me see what you got, boy. Let me see what you got, boy. Damn, that boy jerking. Go ahead, look. Get some of Oh, yeah. Take a few shots. Yeah, take a few more. There you go, there you go. He ain't got no more bullets. He ain't got no
know that's too much hard. I know it's too hard. Just a regular day. Yep, just a regular day. Yep. Call up the gang and they come and get janked. Grab me your weapon if you wish to shoot me. Bad boys, bad boys, back up with a Uzi. My niggas are sad. That boy tactical, boy. That boy tactical, man. <laughs> so yeah, y'all boys. That was the day at the range. You feel me? We done with that. We finished for Nito. Now we're about to go ahead and clean all this up, man. Well, we already done pretty much. Packed everything up and all that. Luck had to slide, but yeah, man, we done with the range. Um, and yeah, how you how your experience was, man? Hey man, it was fun, you know, coming out here to the range, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I done been to the range a couple times, but I ain't never been out there doing stretch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, you get a different experience, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, fun. yeah, you know, it's always a different vibe, man. It's always a different vibe when you bring the cameras out and all this and that, man. You know, you have a lot more fun. You know, we're just bullshitting around, doing like, you know, crazy shit. Nothing too crazy so nobody get hurt, you feel me? But, you know, we just be vibing. <laughs> So yeah, y'all boys, man, that's honestly all I got for this vlog. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm sorry y'all couldn't really see like an actual shoot for real, man. Um, Shawty didn't pull up, so next vlog for sure, you're gonna be able to see some stuff. But um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Next one y'all see probably gonna be that Houston vlog with me, you know, explaining stuff and all this and that too. So be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna catch y'all later, man. Don't forget to like the video, um, do all the other cool stuff. And yeah, shoot me a DM or something on Instagram. I'm, I'm gonna try to respond. <laughs> Catch up with it. Drop top, drop top, smoking, no cooking, the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, she a dot, dot, dot. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody to grip the trigger. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get janked. Cry me a river, give you a tissue. Bad, bad.